I'm in Auckland. I've got like two more days until I head off to England and I just thought I'd give you a little look around me and Ryu's Airbnb. So this is a really bad starting off point. There's Ryu's bed. It's a lot smaller than we thought it'd be, but I mean it's cute and it's cozy. It's a little kitchen. And then please pardon me for like the messy bed. There's my bedroom and the bathroom and the view. So that's really nice. Today I am going to see Zan, who I haven't seen in so long and I'm so excited to see her and she's going to do my makeup and then Ray's going to take me out for dinner probably. So it's just like my day one Auckland little update because I'm not going to be vlogging all these days really can't be bothered doing that while I'm here but I will start vlogging as soon as I get to the airport and I go to Europe I can't believe I'm actually going to Europe in like two days and I'm not coming home but oh. I'm so excited so I'm back from seeing Zan and this is the makeup look she got monochromatic she was doing monochromatic and um, her colour was orange which kind of suits the outfit today and I was wearing my yellow puffer jacket as well, it was very yellow so orange kind of fits the theme. Um, me and this girl, um, she studies here, we just got trapped in the hacking elevator or like kind of our cards wouldn't work with the elevator and so we like kept on trying to work it, we ended up getting off at floor 12 when we're like 11 and 10 and we just like had to wait for an elevator for like a good 10 minutes and it was so awkward like making small talk yeah and that's my story me and some random girl got trapped in a random floor because the elevator wouldn't work and even the lady who works here like couldn't figure it out she's like just go to the desk so that's my story and i've got like several hours until Ryo gets here and i got sushi and i got him some lollies as well that's my plan <laughs> I'm about to go to Europe in one hour. We're about to go to the airport. Oh man. It's so weird looking at a camera. I'm gonna miss you so much and I love you. Who it's him or me? Both of you. Oh. Okay. You, he's gonna miss you as well. But I leave in how, how long do I leave? 10 15 minutes. Don't forget it. Do I do an outfit of the day? You can my outfit. Fanny pack, the fat pants, I'm gonna wear boots. Damn. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> okay, yeah. And so the vlogging officially starts. I have made it through security and I'm just gonna have no shame and people are gonna look at me and I'm gonna vlog my way through. But all the gates are down there and I just got like a mad headache because of all of the spells and all of the duty free stuff. But it is T minus one hour until I board and then another hour <laughs> until I actually depart. And I don't know whether or not to get some food or not, but it's life isn't it? Especially on the plane. Good room. Kind of stretching out. Here we are. About to get off. I spent like a good 10 minutes grabbing out all of my things, and I'm worried that that's going to slide, but it's just what it Yeah. 11 hours. This is my home for 11 hours. So. I guess I'll give you a little updates on the way, but then see you in Hong Kong.
I've officially made it to Hong Kong. And I didn't die on the way. Although, the turbulence, that turbulence was horrible. Oh, I have to take a photo of this. We just I got so hungry. Do you mind being in my vlog? We got so hungry that we had to come and get some food. Doesn't that look daunting? It was only $11. It smells good. It does smell very good, doesn't it? Second leg of the flight. It's Philippa. <laughs> Goodbye, Hong Kong. So I so I so I thought I needed so I so I so I thought I needed I'm officially in Manchester and I'm walking on my way to immigration. Please care for over there. It was a really, really long flight and I was in the middle aisle. It just, you know, it just wasn't happening for me. But I finally made it like two days later of travel. I'm finally here and like maybe half an hour away from seeing Jason. And then Another two hours away from seeing everyone. I'm so excited. So yeah, I felt comfortable to give you guys a bit of an update because there's like literally no one here. Like it's just me. It's only me in this entire place and it's a little bit daunting. Um, there's a massive line for the bathroom so I assume that that's got something to do with it. Yeah. And there was no tip paper so I had to get out my, um, what are they called? My baby wipes is not that good, but alas, we're here, I've made it, I can officially say I have travelled across the world alone at 17. <laughs>